You drop your bonnet seal down in there, just like that. We're gonna lubricate him a little bit here. Okay. This is a new bushing, and the reason we are using new bushings is, as they age, this spline on the inside here will rust, and it'll actually rust apart. And when they get like that, you can't get them out without them stripping. And it'll ruin your tool also. So what you do, drop it down in there, push down on it, get it started. They make a Caterpillar actually makes a tool to make it easier to get started, but it's not that. Okay, here is the tool. This is the tool to spline wrench. That is what tightens the bushings up. I'm gonna go right down in our spline. And they tighten up, which I'll show you better in a second. That tightens up, torques to, I believe, don't quote me on it, 180 or 190, but they go tight. Okay, let's try it here and see. Under 90 foot pounds. Maybe 180. I can't remember, but we're gonna go 190. Okay, I hope y'all can see that. Verify that it's still pulled there. So now I'm gonna pull my pin out and I'm gonna work my rack back and forth. And make sure that we're not a tooth out. Yeah way to check to see if you're out is force your rack back towards the governor as far as you can with the screwdriver your finger whatever notice the pin it is completely flush with this edge on this side that's with it shoved all the way back now if you shove it the other way it should go all the way the other way Let's see. Go all the way the other way. And it should steal, which where I don't have the back piece on, it's what it is. Just a, just a hair. Okay. It shouldn't go no further than that right there. That's with it shoved all the way in. So we are in time. That's good. The rack is in time. Now, we're gonna put it back with the rack, with the pin in the rack slot, shoved all the way back to where the pin has it held. Then we'll do number two. Probably blow out that some more with some uh, starting fluid or a brake clean. Blow it out each one. I want to be very sure that I'm not getting no debris down in there.
know if you can see, but this seat right here is what you want clean. Okay. This wedding, uh, wedding band, spacer, whatever you want to call it, that sits right in there on that seat, metal to metal. Then the pump sits metal to metal right there on top. Okay, that's critical. Can't stress it enough. Okay, we ran into a little issue here. These spacers are new, but if you look, they have gotten, moisture has gotten to them sometime in their shelf life probably. And see the little pits of rust on the face? I'm afraid to use that. So I just contacted the customer. He's gonna get us uh, three new ones. See, I had three that was good, but the other ones that was stored in a separate bag, they, they have gotten moisture to them. So rather than take a chance of them being pitted and allowing fuel into the crankcase, we are going to not use them, get three new ones, and then continue this process probably tomorrow evening. But uh, I think I will carry on with building some other stuff.